Hey everybody, it's Lon Seib and we've got another unboxing and this one's gonna be a fun one to play around with. This is the HP Elite Folio and this is a two-in-one from HP and this has an ARM processor inside, not an Intel processor, not an AMD processor, it's running ARM. It's a Snapdragon 8CX Gen 2 and we're going to have a full review of this soon, but today we're going to unbox it and see what it looks like. Now this is on loan from HP, so when we're done playing around with it, it goes back to them. All of the opinions you're about to hear are my own. No one is paying for this unboxing, nor is anyone reviewing it or approving it before it gets uploaded. So we've got a box within a box here. All right, so let's get this box open. It's a very classy packaging here. And you've got a little design here to show you what the different modes are of this. This is a two-in-one, so it's a tablet, and it's a laptop, and it's an entertainment device as well. It looks like I can pull up this little tab here to get it out. And we will unwrap the plastic. Again, this is brand new. Now, this looks and feels like leather. It almost kind of smells like leather, but it's not. They call this a vegan leather, but it's actually a plastic. <laughs> so it is vegan technically, but it's a plastic. And then the inside here is metal. It actually feels really nice. I like the aspect ratio of the display. I think this is a three by two display, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so let's move the box out of the way. We'll see what else is in the box in a little bit here. And it feels really nicely designed. It looks like there was some thought that went into this. I'm gonna power it up. And while it's loading, we'll have a look at some of the features here. Now, this is a fanless device. Uh, so it's not going to make any noise. Again, it's powered by an ARM processor, uh, so that is a lot more power efficient, and we'll see how well it performs when we do the full review. Again, I really like the aspect ratio of the display. That's really nice to have, especially for productivity and stuff. Let me give you the overhead view here. The keyboard is backlit. Looks nice. It's like your standard HP keyboard, uh, so it's very similar to some of their other devices. There is a pen that docks right here on uh, the top of the keyboard deck and then there's a sim tray here as well because they have a 4G and a 5G uh, Version of this so you can connect it to cellular networks and all that good stuff uh, We've got Windows booting up here right now. I'm seeing a little bit of backlight bleed on the display uh, Definitely a lot here along the top. So we'll keep an eye on that as we work our way through the review uh, Now for ports. Let me give you the overhead view again um, we've got a USB Type-C port here on the left and another one here on the right. And that looks like that's it for ports, just those two. And these are not Thunderbolt ports, they're USB Type-C, uh, but they're full service. So you can do video out, power in, and data devices. Uh, trackpad feels pretty nice on this. You do have a shutter for the camera lens here. And we'll explore the quality of the camera in the full review. Now, I really like the industrial design on this because it's different than what I have typically seen out of a two-in-one over the last couple of years. So right now, we've got it in laptop mode. And then if you want to put it into multimedia display mode, you just bring the display forward like this. Uh, the trackpad still works. You also have the touch display that you can use if you want. Uh, and then you can turn it into a tablet just by doing that. And that gives you kind of the tablet thing. And typically with a two-in-one, when you make a two-in-one a tablet, you're flipping the display around and you often have your fingers resting on the keys. Uh, but here the display is going over the keys. So you've got that uh, plastic leathery stuff here on the back to grip onto, which I thought was kind of a neat idea. And then it will also apparently work as a tent mode, which we typically see on these as well. It's not as elegant, but it can be put into tent mode as well. So pretty cool. And you can put it back into laptop mode here or fold it up and take it with you. And again, pretty classy with the uh, little stitching here for the fake leather. All right, let's see what else is in the box here. Again, we took the laptop out a minute ago. Uh, this is your power cable and it's got a nice uh, fabric braid to it. That's pretty cool. And it's your standard USB-C power adapter. Uh, let's take a look if I can get the plastic off of it here as to what the power level is. It's 65 watts for the power adapter. Um, we have our US plug here. You'll get your own version in your home country. Uh, here we've got a couple little tools here. It looks like one might be, looks like this is for the pen to replace the tip of the pen if you wear it out. And then in here, we have just some basic setup instructions. So we're gonna have a full review of this coming up very soon. So stay tuned for that. I've got a lot to play with on here. 
and this will be a fun one to check out because it really is a very different computer, both in its design and what's inside driving it. So stay tuned for that. And until next time, this is Lon Seiben. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Chris Allegretta, Tom Albrecht, Jim Callagher, Hot Sauce and Video Games, and Brian Parker. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.